What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Juicy Vapor channel and I'm Chef Andy, your guy for DIY and my daughter Kira aka the Juicy Fruit has joined me to do a review today. I'm so excited, so excited because I love like Asian food. I'm like a guy that's been into uh, Chinese buffets and all of, but about 13 continental United States and today what hath lie before me is sweet and sour sugar peach by the beard brand of Vapeco. Oh. <laughs> Speak. <laughs> All right, guys. This is a 70/30 blend of VG to PG. Did I get that right? Did I get that right? Did I? Yes, I did. Look at that. It's right there on the box, so you know it's got to be real. You know, like if it's on the internet, it's got to be real. Okay. By the way, moving on. It is number 71 of the Beard brand and 3 milligram, 3 milligram of nicotine. The guy's uh, pretty cool. Look at that, yeah, look at that. Fear the Beard. beard. Ah! <laughs> Alright, today we are going to be loading up the Cuboid Mini with the uh, notched coil. So this should make for a really, 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 really good vape. Ready? Yep. All right. So we're gonna open up that top part or that or top part pour. That and top I, part and pour it. I'm there. just doing wonderful, aren't I? We're gonna do that top part come off there. It is a top fill tank, uh, and this one's perfect for trying new stuff out. Um, now I will confess that I did kind of load it up a little bit earlier just so that we could get the coil rocking and rolling. You weren't supposed to say anything. About what? Pre-filling it. Halfway. That's like when they make a cake in a baking show first and then they're like 15 minutes later. They don't tell them that's not a pre-made cake. Is that like cake. a twice-baked potato? Uh, no. No? No. No? No. Is that like refried fried chicken? Refried fried beans. Refried deep fried beans. That sounds good. Make me refried deep fried beans. Yeah, but it won't be too good later on the old digestive track. Oh if y'all get what I'm saying. Boop, boop. Boop. We do have some Hispanic genes in this family. And, uh, oh, that could be any household in America. Was I profiling? And profiling is wrong. That's just wrong. All right. So, as always, I carry some paper towels around. I'm um, cleaning up the... Because you're messy. Yeah, I am. I actually really am, guys. I, I can sit there and try to be as clean, put, like going to a restaurant, exercising, good mannerisms. But and, you can't. But it's still, still. I mean, I move that quick. And I still spill. I look the other direction and stuff jumps off the counter. Like literally. Just it sees me coming. I'm not even past it. Boop. This is that like the couch wasn't there before you tripped over? I it? crashed into that tree that was on the sidewalk. It just jumped in the road. That tree was suddenly there. Now what I'm doing, folks, is I am kinda just taking a few um <coughs> a two sucks off the tank. <laughs> All right, so why I'm doing that is uh, so that you don't get a dry hit. What you're really trying to do is get some of that oil uh, to sit there for a few minutes. Uh, and you also want to take a, a, a few suctions off of it to kind of pull it through the coil uh, so that you have a nice consistent vape and you don't get that burnt taste that never seems to go away on a, on a, on a dry run on that fire mm -hmm. button. Because um, that really, it's just not too cool. It's gross. Yeah. Um, I've also noticed uh, just a personal experience. I don't know if it's just my personal vape. I keep them very clean. Um, but for some reason, uh, unlike other tanks, when I pull this off and uh, put everything back down, sometimes I have to pull the top off and take a Q-tip and clean it out. Um, I don't know why. There's A lot of other tanks don't really do that. Uh, again, it could be mine, uh, or again, it just might be that I have to 
treat this a little differently. I don't know if anybody else has had the same issue. However, uh, never, nevertheless, I uh, just work through it. I'm very happy with the unit once it's rocking and rolling. <laughs> you look displeased. Ew. Cook, get me a Q-tip. <laughs> Okay. Did you hear that? It sounded like. Oh goals. my gosh, that was like me after Taco Woo. Tuesday. Ew. My gosh. Woo! I, I'm not even joking. That 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 was real. That sounds gross. Yeah, Taco Tuesday. <clears throat> oh. You know what then? You know what? You know what? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Thank you for take, letting us take a brief pause for station identification. We've identified the problem. All is well in vape land. The juicy vapor. Da -da -da. Oh. All right, so we got it loaded up. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm just getting the... Uh, Smells good. Smells like a fruit loop. My version of pyrotechnics. All right, so um, I'm really getting a nice, um, originally, give it a second there. Ori she's saying it has some nice aromatics. Mm -hmm. Um Let's go for the smell while we're waiting that there to tank to just cool down a little bit. More gurgles. Oh, more oh. gurgles. That that's me later. Gross. Just welcoming all into our family. That's all. We're all real, right? We're family. We're family. Smell. Always important to smell mm. your vape so you can pair them with the right food and wine. I really like the smell of that. Alright, so Smells she like fruit she, juice. A little, I, you know, I thought this might taste a little more, um... Asian? I don't, I don't want to say Asian. I, I want to say, uh, sweet and sour. I don't... I'm, I'm not picking up, um, being honest. It, it tastes really good. But I'm not really, I don't know about you, I'm not tasting sweet and sour. Maybe it didn't mean sweet and sour in that sense, but like the mix, for the mixed drinks? Okay, but what I'm tasting is like a... A soft, mellow, back of the palate peach that kind of just stays right there. Go ahead, keep your lips just a little bit above in case it's burning hot. Hit the fire button, but you don't need to hit it too hard. Oh, and, and, and she's a lightweight. I didn't even get anything off that one. <laughs> and you want to know something? I started vaping because of her. <laughs> This, this, my oldest kid in her 20s, ah, ah, and I was a smoker for 20 years. Can you believe that? Okay, I'm okay now. Take one more. Tell me what you think. I think I'm okay, but. All right, all right, all right, all right. so I'm going to. Tastes good. Dragon! Wait, other side. Actually, really, I'm I'm tasting more of a. <coughs> yeah, it tastes good, but you're hacking up a lung. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I'm failing. Are you failing? I'm failing. You're failing. That's going to cost me money. Anytime she says I'm failing, that costs me money. Moving on. Um, all right. Honestly, seriously, all fun aside, um, what do you what do you you think? Um, I think you're right. I expected more of the sweet and sour taste, and I'm getting more of like a 
a, a peach drink, kind of like a pink peach, like a creamy peach, peach juice. Yeah, I really like it actually. That that's really good. Yeah, see, I've actually had sweet and sour. Now, don't get me here. Let me get back on camera. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this tastes bad. Mm -mm. Uh, but what I am saying is the sweet and sour. See, it says sweet and sour right there. Okay, but down below you see sugar peach. I think that's a more accurate. Yeah, uh, I would say if you dumped out the sour and you just went sweet, sweet sugar, sugar peach, that would probably be right on the money with that. Uh, it is, however, a full body taste mm -hmm. of that. Very good. You could definitely taste the the peach notes, uh, and uh, you can definitely get that that sweet and and sugar uh although it's not too sugary no i like that though yeah um it would probably taste bad warm if it was too, too sugary um the number 71 beer by vape co uh once again with the um 70 30 vg to pg it is a wonderful taste i really really like it 30 Three milligrams of, of Nick by volume in here. Uh, I really honestly like it. It's got a soft but nice punch of peach. Again, not really tasting the sweet and sour. I'm tasting more of the sweet, mellow, sugar peach. Mm -hmm. If you just pull that sour out of there, I, I don't it know. It have the perfect name. Yeah, um, but it is good. You will not be disappointed. If you like peach like cobbler or any kind of thing around that 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 road of, of taste travels then i think you would really like this i i would buy this again mm -hmm. um sometimes though i have to say this is uh one of those times that old adage that saying that never judge a book by its cover because it's very true here yeah so you know it it, it if you're somebody that says, "Oh, I don't like sweet and sour," but you like peach, this would this would be a, a great a great one to buy. A great taste, mm -hmm. very robust. It, it definitely is not too light on the flavor, but it's not too heavy. Uh, what I like is a second or two after, it still kind of got that little drip to the back of the throat. Mm -hmm. So you still got a nice little nice little uh, taste going on. But I will share with you something if you need a palate cleanser. It goes great with my diet iced tea and peach. Not sponsored. No, yes, <laughs> not. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah. Cooties. All right. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's good. Having said all that, ladies and gentlemen, what? 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 Later. <laughs>